So nobody's gonna be able to tell unless they got a flashlight in your face. And if they do, girl, you got more things to worry about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. It's just another day where I'm showing up and showing out looking like a whole new girl. I was about to say another word, but you know, I'm trying to be respectful and whatnot. <laughs> somebody has said that I talk too much and I probably do, but just enjoy it, girl. And also, could you subscribe? You don't like me, but you can still subscribe. I don't mind if you hate watch. Now let's go ahead and get into the wig. I know y'all here for a good time, not for a long time. So we're gonna get into these wig details. We're gonna get into the tutorial and now I'm gonna send y'all out the door so you can go ahead and do what you need to do for this holiday weekend. This wig is absolutely gorgeous. And I wanna say thank you to Clyde Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig is a 13 by four lace frontal, kinky curly, auburn brown wig it is 18 inches long 180 percent density if you pop the hood on the wig you get three combs on the inside and adjustable strap in the back and it comes with a piano key elastic band which allows you to wear the wig glueless and that's it on this wig when you get this wig it comes in the kinky curly machine curl sort of texture and then what i did was i bleached the knots and i washed it you can actually check out what i did to this wig in my last vlog. That's all I did to it, girl. I didn't have to do merch. I didn't even really have to cut her like that. And y'all know I'm Mrs. Scissorhands over here. If you wanna see what I did to style this wig, please keep on watching. I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the base of the wig. I'll show y'all what the wig looks like after it's been washed in a minute. But first, we gotta start with the base, Diana. I need to let go of Diana. I just be trying to be different. <laughs> Same base every time. Same old dirty wig grip. I need to wash this thing. Wig cap second. Oh. Bang. Ooh. Now we can go ahead and try on the wig. I think I'm gonna have to tint my lace so we may have to pop this back off. But I wanna show you what the wig looks like. Oh, the lace feels thin. So this is what the wig looks like after it's been washed. Let me pop her on her head. See what she's giving. Uh-huh. Very pretty, very soft. Um, this is what it looks like after the knots are bleached. I really don't think I need to pluck the hairline or anything. It did bleach, but not a whole lot. But the hair is feeling soft after washing the hair. So all we need to do now is, no, we need to tint the lace. I was about to say apply the wig. We need to tint the lace. So Let's go ahead and pull this wig off first so we can go ahead and tint the lace. As you can see, that lace was a little bit too light for me. So what I like to do is take a lace tint. Lace tint I like to use is the Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray. I bought a whole bunch of them at one time. The shipping is not great, but the product is good. So purchase at your own risk. I'm just letting you know. What I'm gonna do is turn the wig inside out. I used to just spray the lace tint, but that's like spray the lace directly. You can do it like that, but it's really, really messy. What I feel like is the best way to do things is to spray a brush and then apply it. I'm gonna spray the brush like this. This stuff is really messy. Girl, that's just lace tint all over the place. And I'm just gonna apply it to the lace, like so lighty and just do it in circular motions all over the lace. And I'm gonna turn it over to the other side. Ooh. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to the hairline as well. On this side. I'm gonna take my blow dryer with the diffuser head attached and I'm just going to blow dry it until the color is set in and then we can go ahead and cut the lace and apply the wig. No, we need to do the hairline. We got a lot to do. So let's go ahead and pop on the wig. Let's see what this lace is giving now. It's a complete difference. It's a little bit more gray. Did I use the right lace tint? I hope it's gonna blend right into the skin. If it doesn't, girl, you can always fix it with a little bit of makeup. Just don't walk out without no makeup because you'll start looking like, you know, you stole a scalp. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a scalp-o-maniac. <laughs> I need 
need to figure out where I want my part to be. Y'all know I live for an alpha center part. The hair is parted and next we get to flatten the hairline. So I'm going to use a wax stick first to get into the hairline and then after that we're going to hot comb it. So I'm going to use the ZLA wax stick. This is the hairline master wax stick. I've had it for so many years. It's a shame. Okay, so I'm just going to take the wax stick and I'm going to just smooth some onto the hairline so we can get to flattening. Now I'm not trying to make the roots straight. I'm just trying to make them flat and get them out of the way. But this hairline is actually already out of the way. So I'm gonna take my Andis hot comb. Y'all have heard so much about her. I love her so much. Ooh, don't hit the mic. I'm gonna pull the wig back because we don't burn foreheads over here. And I'm just gonna take the hot comb and flatten it. And I'm only just pulling the teeth through and that's it. Just pull it back and then flatten, flatten, flatten lightly. But I don't want straight roots. I don't like straight roots. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like now. I feel like when the roots are curly, it does look better. But like once I apply it, it looks a lot better. Cause right now this is, the hairline look a fool a little bit. It look weird, but it's gonna look cute when I'm done with it, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, girl. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm not trying to say, okay, so I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side, just a little straight back moment. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this wig forward. Let's see what the hairline is looking like now. Real cute, I like it, it's real flat. We'll end up It'll end up looking better once we're done, but right now it really do look like it's another Sonic the Hedgehog moment. No, Knuckles. Somebody told me Knuckles was like an aardvark or something. I thought it was a hedgehog. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about Knuckles right now. Oh, in order to cut the lace, of course, I just use, girl, I use scissors, Annie shears. So in order to cut the lace, I'm gonna take my Annie shears and we're just gonna follow the yellow brick roll, girl. Color, it's not coloring in the lines, it's like, cutting along the lines. Y'all remember we used to do that in kindergarten. Y'all remember that? So I'm just gonna cut up toward the lace and then, oh, this is where it gets difficult for me. It's hard for me to see uh, uh, like where to cut. And as you can see with this wig, the lace is, again, like a little bit of short. Like, it's perfect for me, but it's a little bit shorter than usual. Usually my lace goes down to the bottom of my ear level. Basically to my collarbone, girl. They be giving lace. I guess they trying to conserve lace around here. I think that's what's going on. Boom. Let's do the other side. I'm just gonna pull the hair back and then cut it. Easy peasy, what? Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Why don't think y'all could complete that? <laughs> Okay y'all, so the lace is cut. And I usually can tell how the lace is gonna look when it's not applied. And I feel like this is gonna melt kinda well. The tone is just like a tad bit off, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. Now I'm gonna use my favorite wig application spray. This is the Eben Wonder Lace Bond to apply the wig to my forehead and stick it to them. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Wonder Lace Bond and I'm just gonna apply it to the forehead. Bro, there's no rhyme or reason with how I do this. I just spray it on there. Okay. You could also use like Got To Be Glue gel spray, whatever, but I prefer a spray over a glue or actual gel because it just, it locks it in real quick. This stuff dries pretty fast, so you have to be careful. Not to put it on too late. So. Pull this back just a little bit. Is my forehead small? 
Oh my God, the lace. The lace tint, oh no. Okay, the lace tint, it wasn't dry yet. Oh no. I'm just gonna let it dry and add here and then I'm gonna work on the ear tabs. Oh, oh, oh no, that's still wet. Calm down. Just gonna make sure all of the lace is down and flat using the end of a baby hair brush. And then I work on the other sides. Y'all see that? Oh, that's in there like swimwear, girl. It ain't going nowhere. Try and shift it a little bit. Shout out to Sheree. <laughs> and I'm gonna do two layers of spray. Okay, y'all, the hairline is down and I think it looks good. Like, show you what it looks like. It looks good. I like it. Do you like it? I feel like I like it. It looks good. Now we need to go ahead and do some baby hairs because y'all not gonna catch me slipping. You know what I'm saying? Then we're going to melt the hairline. So, y'all already know what time it is. I only do four baby hairs. Four. Um, so this is what I like to do. I like to take some baby hairs over here. Why am I, I feel like my head is moving like a bird. Like it's just like, <laughs> and then they come down. <laughs> I'm not gonna pluck this baby hair. I'm gonna just cut it and swoop it. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Annie shears and I'm gonna cut this pretty short. And okay, so I'm gonna take my Got To Be Glue gel. I like to use gel because I cannot use water-based products on my hairline because this wig will end up on my back. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my, what am I doing this for? I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down these baby hairs. Light so lighty, shout out to Tab. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop, scoop, swoop de doo it all the way back. What is this hair doing in there? Girl, get in with the crowd, sit at your lunch table. This is your lunch table, girl. You with the cool girls. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my ear tabs. Girl, they are holding on for dear life. Like, my ear tabs, like, what? What? Right? Take a little bit of hair here. Okay. And I'm just gonna lay down this little baby hair. Now, the ear tabs, I don't... Baby hair, the ear tab baby hairs are unruly i don't know what they're gonna look like <gasps> oops i should have pinned the hair back oh this is going to be a disaster oh where's the hair at i think that's it is that it girl i should have had control of this a long time ago what's happening <gasps> it's a scam it's a scam y'all it's a scam <laughs> wow why my forehead look like that okay so I also like to take my got to be glued gel and I like to melt down or swoop down this hairline. Like it make it look more swoopy, you know, like in the direction of the baby hair. Now once I lay it flat, it's not gonna look like that. So don't worry, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, lay down the baby hairs, and then we're gonna melt the hairline using a rapid strip first and then an elastic band second. Okay, so we've melted the hairline or we're melting. Oh, fondue this hairline. I know that's right. I say I'm not gonna cut it and then I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna cut it. So this part, I just want it to be just a tad bit, well, I wouldn't say shorter. This part right here is just long. So I'm just gonna trim off a little end right there and leave well enough alone. Okay, I'm leaving that alone. I'm leaving it alone. So I'm gonna take, actually, okay. So it's starting to it's starting to get out of control. I'm taking 
the triangle part here and then a little bit of the hairline this whole front part and I'm just gonna I'm do a little angulation on the situation and then I'm done like don't say nothing to me <laughs> I'm gonna do this again on this side and then really I'm done don't worry about me like really I want to say polish just a little bit more you know there we go that's the shape I was looking for that's it that's it y'all see what I'm talking about like really that's it I'm just gonna cut a little bit out the bottom because I don't like you know what I'm saying I just want to I just need to cut it a little bit so I'm gonna take this part and I'm just gonna cut the bottom that's it I'm not doing no more now we need to go ahead and get the curls popping on this wig <sighs> next let's go ahead and add the mousse girl then we'll be done that was quick and simple like really 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 <laughs> part the hair down the middle and we're gonna start working in sections to add the mousse but i just need to section this hair away get it out of the way and then i'm just gonna work on this side first but i'm gonna work in tiny little sections now you could just add water to this hair or you can leave it as is because after washing the hair i do like how the curls look and it is it feels pretty soft to the touch it doesn't feel like it's soft but it's not like soft but not like super duper soft you know what i'm saying like it's soft. So I'm gonna work in larger sections since we already washed the hair and everything. <sighs> I always say I'm gonna work in larger sections and I end up working in smaller sections, but I need to work in larger sections because I'm not trying to be playing these games. You know what I'm saying? This is a continuous spray bottle and it contains filtered water and this the do mousse def mousse mixed together because this mousse is really, really thick. If you've watched my channel before, my lips are so crusty. You already know that this mousse is really really thick but it's amazing on curly hair it moisturizes it and keeps it mm. so i'm going to use both of these and my evolve 572 brush to brush through the curls so hold on let me get this stuff out of the way because this is a mess i'm just gonna pull this hair off to the side and i'm just gonna spray it down with the water and mousse combo first to saturate the hair now i'm not sure if this hair bleeds at all like if you would see any hair color on your clothes i would say be careful i usually try and wear darker colors when i wear colored hair and next we're gonna add some of the mousse now this mousse is everything here the here the the deepness of this oh my god that's a lot that's like really really Thick. So I'm gonna add this to the hair and then we're gonna brush through the curls using my Vol 572 brush. And we're gonna get the curls lumped together brush it through now i feel like this is it oh yes got my pinky up real fancy style but look at them curls now i'm gonna go ahead and work through all of the hair get all the mousse get the hair saturated and the mousse all up and through I'm gonna diffuse the hair and then we'll be done and we'll reveal the hairline so let's keep going
So this is the finished look. Ah, just so pretty. Now tell me something that's not right in this photo. Baby, it's so uneven. It's like not even funny. Like what? How did that even happen? Like what? I don't even know how I did this. I'm just gonna chop it, I don't know. I feel like we did something, you know what I'm saying? So cute, but look at this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with it. Y'all know I love this color and especially in this texture. Mm. It's giving very much holidays, very much fall. Also spring, summer. <laughs> Joggers. <laughs> But this is the hairline, as you can see. What do you think? I think it looks good. You can see it's a little bit halo-y up here, but how many of y'all gonna have this much light on your face on a regular day? So nobody's gonna be able to tell unless they got a flashlight in your face. And if they do, girl, you got more things to worry about. It looks pretty good. It doesn't really blend that well into my skin tone like seamlessly, but with a little makeup, a little lace tint, it works. But that's a skin tone thing. Curl pattern, gorgeous, and the hair is soft. It feels soft to me. Like, and this is what it looks like in the back. Y'all know I'll be having that split from trying to wear this thing over my shoulders, but that's what it looks like in the back. Like, very pretty, like, curls and all of that. Like, really pretty. Like, really freaking pretty. Now, for cons, what would I say? Bleaching the knots was a little bit difficult. Um, the knots didn't really bleach like that. So you'll have to deal with like red knots because I don't think they bleached, but it's like it bleached to like a copper. I would have to wear it more to get some more cons out of it. But for right now, that's it, girl. It's really simple, really easy. Um, Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below because I love it. Um, the only thing about this wig is that I feel like I need to wear it with makeup because without makeup, I feel like I look a fool. I Me, mean, just don't really fit the mug but that's okay so y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below what you think about the color what you think about the curls i want to say thank you to clyde hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video i'll leave a link for this wig down below but i also will leave the coupon code down below because what i'm not gonna do is send y'all out the door during christmas time without a coupon code what i look like what i look like check out the link check out the coupon code tell me what you think down below i love you all and i'll see you in my next video oh I'll see you in my next video. Clank, clank, clank. Bye. <laughs>